You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. I want to thank you for watching these episodes featuring strong, courageous, and caring CNAs, certified nursing assistants, who have gone above and beyond for those they care for and their profession. The past year has been so incredibly difficult for many. CNAs have toiled long hours to deliver safe and quality care, often to their own demise. Our profession has lost thousands of CNAs due to severe illness, fear, and yes, sadly, even death. Today's story is one of hope, resilience, and determination. Angel Livesay is a 29-year-old CNA in Johnson, Tennessee, working at Elizabethan's Sycamore Shoals Hospital. July of 2020, Angel developed a fever and received a positive COVID-19 test. She isolated at home with mild symptoms in the beginning. On the sixth day of her isolation, Angel's mother said she wasn't eating. Angel's mother had a gut feeling that something more was wrong and loaded her daughter up to take her to the emergency room. On the way, Angel struggled to breathe. Upon checking into the ER, Angel was unresponsive. Once at the hospital, she had to be resuscitated three times. Doctors said she wasn't likely to live. Because of visiting restrictions, Angel's mother had to leave her at the hospital alone and wait by her home phone for any updates. Now, this CNA who had taken care of so many was the one in the bed needing care, fighting for her life. Angel was placed on a ventilator, received 24-hour dialysis and treatment for blood clots in her lungs. However, slowly, Angel started making small steps of progress. After about four days, Angel opened her eyes when nurses said her name. On day seven, she was able to wiggle her fingers and toes on command. 11 days after being admitted, Angel was finally able to FaceTime her parents and see them for the first time in over a week. Two weeks into her time at the hospital, Angel was given some wonderful news. Doctors were cautiously optimistic of a recovery. Angel was removed from the ventilator after nearly three weeks and she was finally released from the hospital on day 38 for rehabilitation. Angel spent 26 days in rehab to get back her strength, her health, and her voice before returning home on September 23rd. Of her experience, Angel states, it was different, that's for sure. I'm so used to being the caretaker, not the patient. In a way, I think it helps you understand better how the patients feel. Those are some wise words, Angel. But the journey to life as normal was still a winding road of recovery. She had to stay home from work from October through December to get back to full health to regain her strength. After being out for nearly six months, she was more than grateful to return to work. It was quite the warm welcome at the hospital on her first day back to work, December 22nd, 2020. Reuniting with the hospital staff was the best part. Angel said, I was just glad that my coworkers didn't get it 
nearly as bad as I did. With some of them, they may not have survived. I got lucky, Angel said. Some of the strongest women I personally have ever known have been CNAs. Angel is the definition of strength and resilience. We can all take a lesson from her. Angel, your story is incredible. We here at NACA commend your courage and your determination. I would like for everyone to join me right now in recognizing the strong, the brave, the resilient Angel Livesay, CNA hero.